हेलो रिवन सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वील बी लर्निंग अबाउट हाउ टू बिल्ड ओरिजन टू डेस्टिनेशन मैप इन टैब्लू सो लेट मी जस्ट गिव सिंपल एग्जाम्पल टू अंडरस्टैंड वेयर वी कैन यूज दिस काइंड ऑफ विजुअलाइजेशन सो बेसिकली लाइक इफ सपोज यू आर वर्किंग इन सप्लाई चैन एनालिटिक्स एंड यू हैव वन टी शॉप और यू कैव वन टी वेयर हाउस डेट इज सप्लाइंग टी प्रोडक्ट्स टू डिफरेंट वेंडर्स ओके एंड यू वॉन्ट टू लाइक ट्रैक लाइक हाउ मच वेंडर्स आर क्लोजेस्ट टू डेट वेयर हाउस एंड हाउ मच इज फारेस्ट एंड वट इज द लैक टाइम बिटवीन दैम so at that time like you can for distance you can use like uh, origin to destination map and if you want to calculate the lag time you can use gantt chart to predict that and if you ever heard about gantt chart and you want to learn about it more so i have already created that video in my playlist so you can go and watch it after this video or any time which is suitable for you uh, and but in this particular video we will be focusing upon origin to destination map and one more example i can give is like if you want to look for the flyer pattern like jacqueline fernandez so like her film is releasing in april like suppose attack film is releasing and they want to do promotion in different part of the country so what is the flyer pattern if i want to see the flyer pattern of jacqueline so that time we can use origin to destination map so i hope you are clear with that and you are excited to deep dive in tableau and see how to build one so first i will be showing like what is the final product will be getting and then i will be driving you through each step so you can find it easy to grasp and apply in your day to day life wherever you want to in your analytics domain so we'll be building origin to destination map in this particular video so this is the final product that will be achieving at the end of the video so if i change like suppose i select ab like this is the airport okay i select the origin airport and i just like the distance so distance means like how much miles i am seeing so if, suppose i am seeing in 400 miles how many flights are there which is taking off from this laying valley international airport to other cities so if i click on okay so you can see no flights are there in 400 miles so if i increase the miles to 600 so you can see in 600 miles there are three flights and that are shown by a line and if i hover over Or any one of the line, so you can see from Allen Town City to Detroit, it is going, and the distance travelled is given. And if I hover over to another line, so it is going from Allen Town to Charlotte, and the another is Allen Town to Myatt Beach. So this is how our final product will look like. So let me just show you one more example. Suppose I am seeing for Las Vegas. So you can see like the points will be more. so it depends upon location to location like how many flights are taking from that particular origin to the destination so i hope i hope you guys might be excited by now so let us directly jump into our new tableau workbook and start building our own origin to destination map and so what i have done is i have opened the tableau workbook and i have just connected the data source so i'll be sharing the data source in the description box so you can just download that data set and you can follow along with me or if after watching the full video you can also practice if you want to build the one so let us jump to sheet 1 so now what we are going to do is like we are going to leverage some of the special function and first so what the special function do is like special function will create a geometry for us like it will create a point or a line or a polygon type of structure in our visualization so these are the four functions that will be dealing in this particular video so i'll be going one by one so while using so let us start the make point function so what it does is like it will convert the data from latitude and longitude into special object so what does it mean is like you have a map visualization so for origin you have different origin and destination also are different destination so what we are going to do is we are going to create a origin points in map and then the destination points in the map visualization okay so after we have created these two then we'll be creating a make line we'll using make line function so what it will do is it will create a line between the origin and destination okay so now let us implement in tableau what we have so far listen i hope you might be clear once we'll be start doing in tableau so what i can do is i can just write origin and i'm using make point function so i'm just writing make point so it will be easy for you to remember so you can see I can just type origin, so you can see origin, latitude, and longitude is there. So I can just drag origin, latitude, or I can also write it here. I want to origin, longitude. Drag to close, so it will create one point. So let me just double click on it. So you can see these are all the origins from where our flight are taking off. So now what we can do is we can just 
uh, drop the origin airport to detail so what will happen is you can see the burn mark on the left hand side so this whole geometry is a one point as if now so once i drop origin airport into details so all will be divided into each individual marks so all will have different description right because all are in different states so what we are going to do is another thing we can also drop origin name to details so we can find the name of the airport okay so this is our origin thing now the same thing we'll be doing for destination so create a calculated field and destination make point okay so make point bracket destination latitude comma destination longitude bracket close click on ok and in tableau it support multiple layers in visualization so that shows the true capability of tableau so let us just drag this destination make point to add a layer so a layer is created and the same thing we can do for this is we just go to destination and we can drag that destination name to detail shelf and destination airport to detail shelf okay oh, it is showing all the origin and all the destination point so now what i want is i want to restrict it into only one origin point so what i can do is i can just drag the origin airport to the filter shelf and I can just only select one as if now. So use all select the list and none. And I should select only A B as if now. Or click on apply and click on OK. So now you can see like this is the A B point. So this is our origin and these are the destination point to where the flights are going. Now we want to connect our origin and destination point and we will also want to uh, change the shape of the point so we can know which is the origin point and which is the destination point right so first let us use a new calculated field and just choose make line function to show origin to destination right so what I can do is I can just make line function and if you're new to this you can also search it here so you can find an example how to write so make line function so make line function we need origin make point as first comma and the destination make point and close the bracket as you can see in this presentation which i showed you it need geometry so geometry is the make point function that we have already built for origin and destination so the calculation is valid click on ok and now what i can do is i can just drag this and drag it into and one more layer so now you can see like now we are getting we are getting closer to our result as we are moving one step by step right just drag the origin to first and the destination to second so now what i am so now what you can see is now the line is there but you cannot see the individual things why because it is also a geometry point you need to put something into detail shell so it will show in our visualization so what we need is we need the origin details and we need the destination detail as well right so what i can do is i can just go to origin and i can just uh, drag the origin name into detail shelf origin country into detail shelf origin country into detail shelf and origin airport into detail shelf and same i can do for destination destination airport destination country and destination name right getting closer to our result so we can see all the destination and origin details and in our origin point we can see only origin details it is which is the airport so we are getting close to our result right so now what we want to do is now we'll be using two more function so what does buffer function do is so buffer function will produce a radius which determine the distance so buffer need like the geometry field that is a midpoint field and the number of miles you want to go and the miles or kilometer you can give as a unit so what so now what we want to do is now we want to build a radius right so from where we want to build a radius is like from our origin like from where it is departing to the destination 
it is going. So we need the distance between this point and we want to get a mile, like the circular radius between this, right? So how we can do is like we can just create one parameter first. So it will take the distance in miles. So integer we can give data type and we can give a range of values. Like we can give minimum is hundred, and I'm not giving any other maximum step size. So just click on OK. And once it is done, you can just click on this drop down here and click on show parameter. So you can see now what distance has been added, but it is not wired with our calculation. So that's why it is not showing any change in the visualization. So now what we want to do is we want to wire it up with our calculation. So it should show a radius. So what we can use is buffer radius. Now we're using buffer function for creating a radius. So buffer radius. I'm just giving. So what we want to do is we want to give buffer function and geometry will be giving us like our origin point, comma, then the number of miles. So hundred I'm giving as it now. Or what I can do is I can just give the parameter because I want to do the calculation according to a parameter. So I'm giving parameter in my calculation. So now it is wired up in this calculation. So if the user changes there. The number, so the calculation will change accordingly. And the unit I want is miles. Calculation is valid. Click on OK. So now, if I click on buffer radius and drag it to new layer, so now you can see the radius is there, right? So now you can see the radius it is showing. So now, if I do thousand, so the radius will change. And if I do it four hundred. So the radius is changing, right? Distance between the origin and destination, and once we have calculated the distance between them, we have to limit it with the miles the user is entering in this buffer radius. So the circle should show, or the line should be inside the circle, right? So it will be a condition. So you will be clear once I am doing it. So let me just click one more calculated field. So the first thing is we have to calculate the distance, right? Distance between origin and destination. So what we can do is we can use distance function. So you can just search here how to use distance function. So make point. So we have already created origin make point, comma destination make point, right? And then comma, and I want to miles, and click on OK, and click on. So the distance is created, right? So what I can do is I can just. So what I can do is I can just drag this distance into a tool table, and instead of sum, I want the minimum distance. So I can just click on minimum. Okay. So now what we want to do is we have created a distance, and we have distance in miles with the parameter-driven field. So what we can do is we can create one calculation. Now that is distance filter. I'm giving it name, so it will show all the lines within the same radius. So the size of the buffer will reduce. So how to do that? So you can open your pocket tools. I can just copy this calculation, the distance one which I have done here. So I can just go to my calculation again, and I can just paste this distance field. If the distance field is less than distance parameter, so that one should be shown in a buffer, right? So click on OK. And what we can do is uh, it will be shown. So let me click on calculation. So just drag this distance filter that we have created. So it will show true or false. So I want it to be true. So all the point will be inside the circle now, right? So now we are getting a desired result. So if I change this thousand, so it will show all the points, right? So now what I want is I want to uh, drag the buffer into down and one more layer down and one more layer down. And now what I want to do is I want to change the color to gray, a uh, light gray, and the opacity I want to reduce it to just one k. Okay. Now I can see the top one. Correct. So now what I want is In origin one, what we can do is we can just click on this drop down and click on shape and click on shape and click on more shape and we can assign our own shape. 
so I have my custom shapes here so I have my custom shapes here so what I can do is I can just give the custom shape as of aeroplane and increase the size okay so this is my vision and in my destination layer And in my destination map, I also want to provide one specific shape. So in this particular case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this shape. Click on apply and click on OK. And the size can be manipulated from here. So let me just decide. Yeah, correct. And now let us go to make line. And in make line, what I want to do is I want to make this line as grey color. Perfect. So now it is they can show this filter. single value drop down and suppose if I select Las Vegas here so you can see all the points it is showing in three minutes so the other points correct so let me just go back to our original one which you were seen before and let us just click on six five hundred miles right now so these are the three locations so now let us just format the tooltip a bit so this is a make line field right so I can just go to make line and click on tooltip and so what I've done in tooltip is I just inserted the origin city to destination city and I've just formatted it in the desired way I want to show in the dashboard so you can feel free to do your own way so click on ok so now you can see now it is showing from Allentown to Detroit this much is the distance and this is the distance between them and this is one more location so this is the distance between them right so if I change it to 1000 miles so you can see a more number of points and if I change it to last Vegas so you can see there are so many original destinations what we can do in this specialization is you can just go to our map go to map layers and just change it to be normal so it will show the blue background you can just add this area for zip code to show more detail in our map visualization so you can feel free to explore it so this is how we build our origin to destination map so i hope you guys might be able to understand the concept so yeah so thank you for staying with me till the end and i hope you have learned something from it and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet then do subscribe to my channel as it helped me a lot and my channel to grow and see you soon in the next video bye